When you're shopping around for car insurance quotes, you may get lots of opinions on what company to use and what coverage to get. Comparing quotes from several different insurers is one of the best ways to save money. And it's not a process that takes hours. With a minimal time investment, you can find the best car insurance rates and a policy that's right for you. So how do I get free car insurance quotes? What information do I need to get auto insurance quotes? And what is the cheapest car insurance? Well, let's find out together. How do I get free car insurance quotes? Here are two ways to get car insurance quotes, which are always free. The first way is online. Many auto insurance companies offer free auto insurance quotes online. You can visit several insurance company websites and compare quotes. To save time, use a website that offers quotes from multiple companies. By phone or face-to-face. -face. Talk to or visit a local insurance agent who can help you find affordable auto insurance options and provide you with a car insurance quote. There are generally two types of insurance agents. A captive agent works for one insurance company and can give you a quote only from that insurer. An independent insurance agent can sell policies from multiple insurance companies and can get you quotes from different insurers. There are benefits to both methods, and there are no laws that prohibit contacting multiple insurance agents. It doesn't hurt to get an online quote and talk to an agent who can help you identify your insurance needs and customize the policy that's best for you. Comparing auto insurance quotes is all about collecting options so you can find the best auto insurance company. So what information do I need to get auto insurance quotes? To make the process go as smoothly as possible, it helps to have the following information on hand. Driver's license. If there are any other drivers in your household, you'll need their driver's license information as well. Vehicle identification number. You can typically find your VIN on the vehicle's driver's side dashboard or printed on a sticker in the driver's side door or door jam. If you haven't purchased the vehicle yet, but know what you're going to buy, ask the seller for the van. If you haven't picked out your car yet, you can usually get a quote with a vehicle make and model. The mileage. If you own a car, keep the odometer reading handy. How much coverage do you want? You'll want to know what type of coverage you want to buy and how much coverage you need. If you're not sure, it's best to speak with an insurance agent who can help answer your questions. Auto insurance companies will collect other information about you, such as your driving history past auto insurance claims, and, in most states, your credit. Comparing auto insurance rates by company. Not all auto insurance policies are priced the same. That's why it's so important to compare auto insurance quotes from multiple companies. Here's a look at large insurance companies and the average national rates for drivers with a clean driving record, meaning no traffic violations or at-fault accidents. What is the cheapest car insurance? Our analysis of the nation's cheapest auto insurance found that, on average, USAA has the cheapest auto insurance quotes. But USA auto insurance is only available to active duty military members, veterans, and their families. If you don't qualify for a policy through USAA, we found that Erie, Jayco, and State Farm offer competitive rates based on national averages. It's still good to get quotes from multiple companies, as the cheapest auto insurance company may vary depending on your state, driving record, and more. Here is a comparison of auto insurance rates by state. Compare auto insurance rates by age and gender. Your age and gender affect car insurance rates. Young, inexperienced drivers pay the most and their rates are expected to start dropping at age 25. Drivers with good driving records will get the best rates in their 50s and 60s. Around age 65, interest rates start to rise again. Compare auto insurance rates by credit score. Auto insurance companies often use insurance-based credit scores to determine your auto insurance rates. Drivers with bad credit may pay higher rates than drivers with good credit. That's why shopping around is crucial. California, Hawaii, Massachusetts, and Michigan prohibit the use of insurance-based credit scores per auto insurance. The table shows the average national rate increase for drivers with poor credit compared to good drivers. Compare car insurance for drivers with a DUI. A DUI is a costly mistake. Our analysis found that the national average car insurance rate increase for drivers with a DUI is 74%. Here's a look at rate increases after a DUI among large insurance companies. Compare car insurance rates for drivers with an at-fault accident. If you cause a car accident, you can expect your car insurance to go up after the accident. Here's a look at rate increases for drivers who cause an accident that cause an injury compared to good drivers. Compare car insurance rates for drivers with a speeding ticket. Drivers with a heavy foot can expect car insurance rates to go up after a speeding ticket. Compare car insurance rates for seniors. 
Jayco and USAA have the cheapest car insurance rates for seniors and are well below the national annual average for senior drivers of $1,719. The older you get once you hit your senior years, the more you'll likely pay for car insurance. So it's vital to get multiple car insurance quotes from other companies to make sure you're getting the best rates for your coverage. Comparing car insurance rates for adding a teen driver. Here's the national average car insurance rate increase for a married couple who added a teen driver to a policy with coverage 100, 300, 100 plus collision and comprehensive coverage. So what factors influence my car insurance quotes? There are several factors that play a role in car insurance quotes. Here are some of the most common pricing factors. Your driving history. Drivers with a clean driving history will pay less than drivers who have traffic violations and at-fault car accidents on their records. Car insurance companies tend to look at the last three to five years of your driving history, depending on your state, your vehicle. The type of car you drive impacts your quote. Certain safety features, like airbags and rear backup cameras, and anti-theft features could help reduce your auto insurance quotes. Your location. Where you live plays an important role in rates. For example, drivers in urban areas tend to make more car insurance claims, which often translates into higher rates. Your driving experience. Young and inexperienced drivers, such as teenagers, will pay more than drivers with years of experience. Other pricing factors. Auto insurers also often look at factors such as gender, age, occupation, marital status, homeownership, and credit. State law sometimes dictates that certain factors can't be used. For example, California, Hawaii, Massachusetts, and Michigan ban the use of credit scores in car insurance quotes. Other drivers on your policy. If you have other drivers in your home, their driving records can affect your rates. For example, if you add a teenage driver to your policy, be prepared for a big jump in car insurance premiums. How to choose the right type of insurance. The type and amount of coverage you choose will have a big impact on your auto insurance quote. But don't focus too much on the price and ignore the necessary coverage. If you don't have enough insurance, you'll face a coverage gap that could result in serious financial loss if you're in a car accident. Your goal is to find the best coverage for your specific situation at the best price. Here are some common types of coverage to consider. Auto liability insurance is a basic insurance that pays for someone else's medical bills and property damage if you cause a car accident. It also pays for legal defense if you are sued for a car accident. Every state except New Hampshire and Virginia requires a minimum amount of auto liability insurance, but it's a good idea to buy more than you need. This is because the minimum amount is often seriously insufficient to cover medical expenses and property damage if you cause a major accident. If your policy limit is too low, you could be stuck paying out of pocket for the rest. A good rule of thumb is to buy enough liability insurance to cover your net worth or the amount you might lose in a lawsuit. A great way to add extra liability coverage to your auto policy is to buy umbrella coverage. You may have heard the term full coverage auto insurance. This usually refers to an insurance policy that includes liability, collision, and comprehensive insurance. Collision and comprehensive insurance pay for repairs to your car for a variety of problems, such as car accidents, regardless of fault, car theft, vandalism, fires, floods, falling objects, like tree branches, and collisions with animals. While collision and comprehensive coverage are usually sold together, you can also buy them separately. For example, if you only want to cover things like theft and flooding, you can get a car insurance quote for comprehensive insurance without collision. Keep in mind that buying one and not the other can leave you with a huge coverage gap. For example, if you go back to a utility pole, you'll need collision insurance to pay for repairs. If you have a car loan or lease, you're likely required to carry both anyway. Uninsured and underinsured motorist insurance. Uninsured and underinsured motorist insurance pays medical bills and other expenses, such as your lost wages in a car accident caused by someone who does not have liability insurance or who does not carry enough liability insurance to cover all your medical bills. Some states require car owners to purchase uninsured motorists insurance. Other types of auto insurance coverage. When you compare auto insurance quotes, you'll often find options beyond a few basic options. These types can help you fill coverage gaps if you want to pay the extra money. Gap insurance. If your car is totaled or stolen and the vehicle's value is less than the amount you own on a car loan or lease, this coverage pays the gap between the insurance check and what you owe. Rental reimbursement auto insurance. This covers the cost of a rental car while your car is being repaired for an accident insurance claim. But daily limits can be low, so make sure you need it. Roadside assistance insurance. If you're stranded on the side of the road, roadside assistance insurance will pay for a tow, a jump start for a dead battery, gas for empty tanks, and a locksmith if you manage to lock your keys in the car. You may be able to find a better deal on roadside assistance elsewhere, such as an auto club. How to compare car insurance quotes. Here are tips for comparing car insurance quotes. Determine how much coverage you need. 
Assess whether it makes sense to buy more than your state-mandated minimum liability requirements. In nearly all cases it does as low limits can be exceeded by even minor accidents. Decide if you want comprehensive and collision coverage to cover your own car and choose a deductible amount. Research customer service, review customer satisfaction ratings so you can find an insurance company that will respond if you must file a claim and help you determine the best coverage option for your needs. Check coverage options and discounts. Make sure the company you're considering offers coverage options and price deals that match your driver profile. For example, if you wish to include pet injury insurance and opt for a usage-based plan or accident forgiveness, check to see if those services are available. If you have a teen driver and work from home, it's worth considering a company that offers great student discounts and low mileage. Shop identical coverage amounts. Compare car insurance quotes for the exact same coverage amount to be sure you're getting an equitable comparison. And finally, check out multiple insurers for pricing. So what do you guys think about this? Let us know in the comments below. And most importantly, if you wish to be updated on every single topic related to the automotive industry, you should consider subscribing to the channel and pressing the bell icon. Also, thank you for watching the video. This is us signing off. See you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.